The next thing I want to talk about real briefly are the pests and diseases of the beehive. I'm going to real quickly go over the major pests that are found in the hive, and then I'm going to discuss a little bit about, the, about American fowl brood, which is the reportable pest here in Texas. Um, in the hive, a lot of times you'll find varroa mites, which are parasitic mites that um, are on the backs of bees or on the other side. And they're a big problem because not only do they predate on the bees, they also spread viruses. Um, and those are a major uh, problem in the beekeeping industry right now. Next is Nozema, which is a gut parasite. Um, the next two, small hive beetles and wax moths, are not actual pests to the bee, they're pests to the colony. So they will eat the resources, they will disrupt the, uh, the colony in that way. Trachea mites are mites that actually can be found in the trachea of the bees. Um, chalk brood is a fungal infection that the bees can get. And then finally, viruses. Um, bees are known to have a, quite a number of viruses that have a lot of very detrimental effects on them. Um, the last thing is European fowl brood, which is similar to American fowl brood, but that fowl brood will generally go away on its own, and it's not as virulent as American fowl brood. The one regulatory disease that we do have here in Texas that you will um, at times treat with antibiotics is American fowl brood. Uh, American fowl brood is a spore forming bacteria. Uh, once it gets into the diagnostic phase where you're actually seeing the symptoms, the hive needs to be destroyed. Um, this is um, done by looking at, or this is noted by looking at uh, not only the frames to see the ind um, indentions in the uh, brood, but also with what we call the rope test, where a, um, a piece of grass or a toothpick is stuck into the brood, swirled around and pulled out. If that ropes out more than an inch, um, it's a good indicator that it possibly has American fowl brood. Um, American fowl brood, like I said, is a reportable disease. And if so, it needs to be reported to Texas Apiary Inspection Service. Real quick on the laws. We are under, like I said before, the Agricultural Code, Chapter 131, uh, under Title VI. Texas Apiary Inspection Service is responsible for bee diseases. The Texas Department of State Health Services is responsible for honey, so any consumable products in the hive. So that's where those, those differentiations happen in the law. We are allowed or have the power to seize or order the destruction or treatment of uh, beehives that are infectious or um, detrimental to the industry. At, like I said before, American fowl brood is the only reportable disease, and if that's found in the hive, it needs to be reported to us before the hive is treated or destroyed for proper diagnostics. Um, Texas Apiary Inspection Service does have a diagnostic lab. We can test American fowl brood, European fowl brood, test for varroa mites, <laughs> trachea mites, and nozema, all within our lab here. Generally speaking, if we do diagnose it with American fowl brood, we will send that to the USDA for further testing, um, just to verify, but it is, um, once we diagnose it, at that point, we would destroy the hive. Here are some resources that you can use to find out more about beekeeping. Uh, Texas Apiary Inspection Service, our website, has a number of links and resources that you can use. We also do recommend the e-extension Honey Bee Health page. It is a uh, cooperative uh, extension, the nationwide network of extension agents that deal with honeybees. It's their clearinghouse for information. If you have any questions or want more um, information on honeybees, please feel free to give us a call or shoot us an email and we'll be very happy to help you. Thank you very much for your time.